Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best cameras for vlogging in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I try to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. DJI Osmo Action This action camera is packed with some interesting features including the beautiful display, superb video quality, a solid image stabilization system and a wide range of features that we'll talk about in a moment. It also has a very competitive price that delivers great value for your money. Let's check it out. From the design perspective, the DJI Osmo Action has the classic action camera look, resembling closely a GoPro Hero. It's also very compact and lightweight, and despite that, the 1.4-inch screen is great, with its pixel density of 300 ppi and a max brightness of 750 nits, resulting in visibility even under direct sunlight. On the right side of the device, you'll see a flap that covers the USB-C port and the micro SD slot. On the base, you'll see the latches that release the battery. I was particularly impressed by the performance of the Rocksteady image stabilization system that worked wonders. Moving on, the DJI Osmo Action can shoot 4K content at 30 frames per second and 4 to 3 aspect ratio. However, it can go up to 60 frames per second at the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. If you choose to go down to 1080p or 720p, you can go up to 240 frames per second, resulting in super slow motion shots that are amazing. Number 4. Sony Alpha A6400 Coming up next on our list, we have an amazing mid-range camera from Sony, the Alpha A6400, which presents an intuitive experience. Besides its amazing video shooting performance that's perfect for vloggers, the Sony Alpha A6400 presents a versatile performance that's great for photographers as well, with its enthusiast-level performance. On the back of the camera, you'll spot the 3-inch Vary Angle touchscreen LCD that has a 921K dot resolution on it. The electronic viewfinder, the Sony Alpha A6400, is also one of the best out there with its amazing sharpness thanks to the 2360K dot resolution and true-to-life colours. Moving on, the Sony Alpha A6400 is equipped with a superb autofocus system that uses real-time tracking and real-time eye autofocus, which is powerful enough for tracking even fast-moving subjects. That's all thanks to the amazing 425 phase detect and 425 contrast detect points for its hybrid system that works way better than its price would suggest. The Bion's X image processing engine also aids those tasks for accuracy and processing power, for the amazing image quality, the Sony Alpha A6400 uses a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS image sensor that's capable of great detail and natural colours. On top of that, the exposure is quite fine and the noise is kept in check even in high ISO levels. But before moving on, I should state that this camera can shoot 11 frames per second in burst shooting mode, which is more than fine. Number 3. DJI Osmo Pocket the DJI Osmo Pocket puts video stabilization in the palm of your hand with a small camera that smooths out your footage thanks to a three-axis gimbal. It's pocketable like the name suggests and doesn't hog your smartphone like the larger DJI Osmo Mobile 2. The fluid 4K resolution is ideal for anyone who uploads to YouTube yet hates the idea of being shackled to professional-sized camera stabilization equipment. The smoothness of the resulting video is stunning for the Osmo Pocket's miniature size. Think it's like an old giant Hollywood crane that offers smooth video but reduced to the size of a compact flashlight. We also found its ability to record motion time lapses to be incredibly easy to set up. Along with supporting multiple resolutions, the Osmo Pocket can also be switched between 30fps and 60fps. I spent some time playing around with the different options before settling on 30fps as the one that offered me the best mix of video quality and file sizes. The Osmo Pocket is also capable of shooting in slow motion, where you'll be able to capture at 120fps to create a 30fps video. Considering how geared the Osmo Pocket is towards the vlogging genre, it's fair to expect better sound quality from it than a typical tiny video camera. DJI sells a small USB to microphone jack converter for the camera, and there are also mics available that connect directly over USB-C. The DJI Osmo Pocket is a great example of a gadget that's designed to fit a particular form factor. It really is tiny for the job that it does, 
and if that's the overriding priority for you, then there's little else out there like it. Number 2. Sony ZV-1 The ZV-1's ergonomics might seem a little quirky at first, but are fairly intuitive once you start shooting. There's a modest grip on the right-hand side, and it's comfortable to use when shooting in selfie mode or a standard shooting position. When you're shooting with the camera held out at arm's length with the lens facing you, you can control the zoom rocker with your thumb and use your index finger to hit record or release the shutter. The ZV-1 offers impressive image quality. While shooting, I tend to keep it set to ISO Auto with a range of ISO 125 to 6400. The ZV-1 generally did a good job regardless of if I was shooting in P, A, S or M mode. White balance worked well, colours were pleasant and when shooting at lower ISO the noise was minimal. Moving up to 6400 noise becomes a lot more noticeable and at ISO 12800 it's very noticeable. On the video side, the ZV-1 can shoot 4K at 30p, 1080p at 120p and high speed modes up to 960fps, though at far lower resolution. It offers HLG shooting if you're planning to view your footage on an HDR-capable display and S-Log 2 or 3 for advanced users that want to tone their video in post-production. But for newer users, an intelligent auto mode automatically adjusts settings based on a scene and there are standard P, A, S or M modes too. The ZV-1 is a unique camera with a very specific style of user in mind and its settings speak to that. Number 1. Fujifilm X-T4 the Fujifilm X-T4 is one of the company's latest high-end photo and video APS-C mirrorless cameras. It brings in-body stabilization, faster shooting, improved autofocus and a larger battery to the already very capable X-T3. Fujifilm says that the X-T4 is a sister model to the X-T3 rather than a replacement, which is borne out by the specs and pricing. It's a 26 megapixel camera capable of 20 FPS shooting and 4K capture at up to 60p. In use, we found it offers distinct benefits over both the X-T3 and the older X-H1, and although the autofocus performance isn't cutting edge, it offers one of the best stills and video options you can buy. As with previous Fujifilm cameras, the main menu is pretty well laid out, with icons down the left-hand side that break most of the options into logical sections. For the most part, the X-T4's video capture options match those of the X-T3, giving you some really high-end capture options and excellent image quality. On this camera, you gain the option to record the more web-friendly AAC audio in the camera's 8-bit H.264 modes rather than linear PCM. 4K video can be captured for up to around 30 minutes or 20 minutes for 50 and 60p shooting. It's a really good stills camera. It's a really, really good video camera. But the thing it excels at is switching back and forth between being both. Buying Guide Firstly, Video Quality Whatever type of camera you go for, consider video quality will likely be top of your list. At the absolute minimum, you'll be looking to shoot in Full HD 1080p, while 4K is becoming increasingly common. Although the higher resolution format will take up more space on your hard drive, it should future-proof your captures a little more than Full HD. Other specifications to pay attention to include built-in Wi-Fi for sharing your vlogs on the move, a fully articulating or tilting monitor for helping to frame your face, a built-in microphone socket for enhancing sound quality. Secondly, weight. Vlogging cameras need to be lightweight and portable so you can easily carry your camera with you wherever you go. Heavier, bulky cameras will be a hassle to carry around all day and it's hard to get footage for your vlogs when you don't have your camera with you. The vlogging cameras recommended in our guide are relatively light so you can carry them around all day without getting sore while vlogging for extended periods of time but we also have some heavier DSLR vlogging cameras that can be set up on a tripod. And thirdly, battery life. If you have your eyes set on a specific camera, make sure you take into account how long its battery life is. If you're going to be out and about the whole day, then it might not be convenient for you to recharge the camera every couple of hours. So either invest in a vlogging camera that has a long battery life or buy additional batteries to carry with you. If you're mostly going to be filming videos from the comfort of your own home, then you don't have to worry about the battery life too much.